Hello Divine Masculine and welcome to your power message for Wednesday, wonderful Wednesday. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. So I'm going to bring in two decks of cards for you today. We're going to bring in the Angel cards and we're going to bring in the Power of Love activation cards. So I really want to see what's been activated within you today and why. So jump straight out there, straight out. Wow, jumping out of the deck, that one's sticking out there, and two jumped on the camera. But I feel this is the most important one, and that's what we're going to start with. What do we need to know for the masculines today, please, angels? Wow, look how they're jumping out of the deck, just flew over there. And I feel this one's important as well. So look at this, wow, we've got forgiveness and illumination. Now, this is really powerful because you, Riel, is the illuminator of heaven. Now, in this card, you can see, you know, this angel is kind of wearing green. And what I'm really being drawn to is the green headdress there. And I'm seeing that like the eyes of Horus. And we connected with that earlier. So this is very much about power and strength and determination. And I'm feeling with this as well, this is the energy of you know, the masculine's understanding things. So masculines, you know, you're going through this awakening right now where you're healing beliefs in you. You know, things in your mind are making more sense because of illumination. Uriel is helping you to see and understand and feel what you're going through in the mind and the body. And that's why you've been going through powerful ascension symptoms because you're preparing to fly and move forward and make changes. And just as I'm recording this as well, I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I can zoom in, okay? There, do you see the squirrel there? Wow, do you see that squirrel go? It jumped into the tree there. So the squirrel is about gathering information. And everything happens for a reason. So, you know, we just get my camera right again there. It's so powerful, you know, that that came up because... This is a big sign of change. Okay, let me just, I'm sorry if the camera, I need to get the camera right again there. And this is what happens, you know, masculines, you have to get things into focus. And the squirrel gathers all the information. So you gather all your information and then you have time to process. You go within. That's why you're holding that flashlight there or that lantern because you go within. You know, you go within to process and think and feel and the eyes are the windows of the soul. So what I'm really seeing there is how there's so much going on a lot of the time inside of you. It's behind the eyes. And that's why feminines, if you're cross-watching, you see, you know, it behind your twin's eyes. You can see what's going on inside. That's why if your masculine posts a picture of a happy event and they don't look happy inside, that's because you feel the pain. So masculines, you're in a lot of pain inside that your feminine sees and you know that, you know, you say to your feminine, you see inside of me. And a lot of the time, that's why you struggle with looking in your feminine's eyes, because, you know, once you do that, all the emotions going to come up and, you know, you just might cry. You just might go to pieces. You might, your mask might fall off and you've got to be ready for that. So you're going through a big illumination right now. And this is also connected with forgiveness. You know, you are now able to activate the power of love in order to release past hurt. So forgiveness is the key. And this is so powerful. You know, I spoke about forgiveness yesterday and how important it is to forgive. So it's so important, first of all, that you forgive yourself. That you forgive yourself for the things you've done and the way you've behaved or the things you've wanted to do but haven't yet done. Forgive yourself for feeling that way. You can feel like a failure sometimes because you feel like you haven't yet achieved all the things that you've come here to achieve. But you're now able to activate the power of love because you're ready to forgive. You're ready to apologize. You're ready to move forward past the past out of the past hurts to begin again, to start again. And you're motivated to do that. Look at that. We've got eye of God. So you've been shown the way. Again, you've been illuminated. And you're holding the timer there because you're reminding your divine feminine this journey is in divine timing and that you have things you have to do. I'm seeing that there as a broom and as an arrow. So, you know, first of all, I'm seeing this as a broom because you are releasing things that need to go. So you're tidying things up. You know, you're brushing away the past, you're healing. So a bit of a cleansing energy there. 
And also I'm seeing that as an arrow because you're ready to hit your target. You're ready to move forward. And look at the eyes again. The eyes are really standing out there. One eye, is that there's a lot of pain in this one. And this is bright. You know, I feel the masculines as well. You know, you may have bright blue eyes. You could have brown eyes. Could be a sign for anyone cross-watching there. Or maybe you feel like your eyes have been changing colour. And that's because we do kind of morph into our twin along this journey. We've got kindness. You are a humanitarian made of love. And you're able to share that energy with others. So, you know, you are a very loving, kind, gentle person. A lot of the time you hide that behind a mask and you can seem unkind or cruel or cool. And that's not really who you are at all. You have feelings and emotions in you. You're made of love. And you're able to share that energy with others. So this is saying, you know, you're ready now to express yourself, to be kind, loving, to share that energy with others. And the way you do that is by being in the now. You live in the moment and are able to bring forth the energy of love in your current circumstances. So you're operating more in love wherever you go because you're seeing love more wherever you go. You're more aware of love. You don't want to out argue with people or cause pain. You want to feel love. And this is all about humility. You have developed the loving awareness that you and everyone else are the same, but on different paths. So you've realized this through all of the lessons you've been through and all of the things that you've learned. And you're very aware that you and your divine feminine are moving in the right direction. You're moving in the same direction, even if you're on different paths. And feminines, you've realized this through your own awareness and humility by realizing that you're on different paths but you're going the same way you want the same things and you're learning lessons your own way you can't do it their way and they can't do it your way you're doing it your own way and that's what you've been illuminated to so the big message coming through here is there's a lot of healing taking place within you this is so you can see through the eyes of God so you can see things in a much higher way to understand why your journey happens the way it does. That time is not running out. And when you operate in the here and now, you understand that. You're able to forgive. You're able to heal. You're able to trust. And that you are a humanitarian. And I'm also seeing that as you sharing your light and love with the world. Helping others to see that it's natural and normal to be kind and gentle. To share your heart. And that you are a normal person. You know, you may be a spiritual person having a human experience, you know, a spiritual being, but you are a normal person. So I feel you're going to have this real way of showing other people that it's normal to be normal. And that means to do it your way. You know, you're going to show others, this is just who I am. This reminds me a lot of Jesus because Jesus was a carpenter and you know, it's like if he could say anything, he would say, I'm just a carpenter. He doesn't see himself as a miraculous being. He just follows his truth and follows his heart and knows who he is inside. But he's just a carpenter. So this is you recognizing that. And this reminds me so much of, you know, when my mum was ill with cancer and she had the most amazing team of surgeons and consultants around her. And one of the consultants, you know, we were there and he was talking about her operation and what had gone on. And she said, thank you so much. She said, you're a miracle worker. And he said, no, I'm just a carpenter. And I had the most amazing experience because I knew in that moment, without him even realizing it, he was channeling Jesus because we see Jesus as a miracle worker. But he's very humble in the way he is. I'm just a carpenter. And this is reminding you that, you know, other people will see you divine masculine as this healer and this powerful embodiment of love. And you'll say, no, I'm just a carpenter. I'm just a, a driver or I'm just a, a lawyer or I'm just this or that, whatever you do. And remember, you're not defined by your career either, but we tend to do that sometimes. No, I'm just, I'm just this. You know, I'm just connected. I just feel. I'm just able to channel. I just know this is about you being humble and you being able to share that natural light with the world. And I feel that's going to be very powerful and able to activate others. So you also have this mission here to 
help other divine masculines or other people to be able to walk in their truth and walk in their light. And you're a guide and an inspiration to them, just like your feminine is a guide and an inspiration to you. So remember that you are made of love. You are made of love and you're able to share that love with the world because of who you are. So shine bright today and know yourself and understand you're going through an illumination. You're finding your way. It's a little bit like you're finding your wings to fly free. And you're receiving that motivation to get things done, to release and heal and forgive and be free. Because freedom is a gift. And I spoke about that in the feminine reading today. But big changes ahead because you're feeling guided to them. You're feeling motivated to make changes and show your family just who you really are and how you care. But it's more about you showing the world your true self. And that's what they want you to know. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.